time for the top three in tech here at WSJ Live. I'm Simon Constable, and here to help us through it, we got tech editor at the Wall Street Journal, Brian Fitzgerald. Brian, thanks for being here. Simon, how are you? Good. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's crack on. It's time number three. Earnings, and there were a lot of them. Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, Amazon, on and on and on. Uh, the broad takeaway, when I look at it, is that it was okay that these companies had done fairly well. There's a lot of talk about tech valuation. If you just look at a couple of them, you know, Microsoft yesterday, you know, their net was lower, six six and a half percent, but they beat expectations and they showed some strength. And that in is consumer. the name of the game on Wall Street. Yeah, beating, beating what people expect. It's a bit of a game, but if it's you do game. it, it's it's, total. it's very good. A aim low. Get high. Um, and, and Apple um, doing some yeah. remarkable things at its earnings announcements, including a stock split, uh, which was a dramatic, seven mm -hmm. to one. Yeah, I mean, a lot of what Apple's announcing, people want to hear products, products, and they're announcing a lot of stuff that has to do with the financials, right? The stock split, the buyback, you know, wrestling with Carl Icahn. But, you know, I think there, there was some talk that the company was not going to do, had not done as well on iPhone sales. Uh, as and, it, and, and actually it did. It did, it did. very and, well. And, reven and revenue did grow, and there was talk that that streak might have been broken. And so... The earnings, the earnings were okay. Okay, good news for them. Okay, number two. Amazon's delivery plans. This company is doing some interesting, exciting stuff when it comes to delivery. Uh, this wrinkle is... Or insane, interesting, or well, insane, depending on which way you look at it, but carry on. Possibly, it's no more insane than drones delivering packages, right? But the, the delivery here uh, is for real. They want to get the trucks and they want to deliver stuff to people's doorsteps, that kind of last mile of delivery. You have to think back to Christmas, Simon, when, when deliveries were messed up all over the place. People were unhappy and Amazon... Uh, was unhappy with what was happening with, with its products getting to people's doorsteps. Christmas was a bad time for that. They're very controlling about the customer experience, so they want to take it end to end. And um, playing Santa, though, is very risky because <laughs> if it isn't in the stocking, on Christmas Eve night, <laughs> and if it isn't there in the morning, that's really bad. Well, People will not forget. Right, sure. I guess in this case, you know, Amazon can turn around and blame, you know, FedEx or UPS. They didn't get it to, to them on time. But generally, people who order from Amazon are going to blame Amazon if their Amazon yes, bought products doesn't show up. So yep, they want to control it all. Okay, yeah. Playing Santa, very dangerous. <laughs> okay, it's that time again. It's time for number one. Net neutrality. Uh, FCC Chairman Tom Wheeler's latest proposal uh, for net neutrality had a pretty big change. Uh, I'm sure you've read a lot about it. It's that internet service providers can give preferential treatment to entities that are willing to pay for it. Okay, and, and, and I think most notably that will be something like um, a, a Netflix, which you know, which are streaming all those videos through in prime time when we all get home, we all log right. in. I guess you watch the sports. I might watch I the do. Netflix and. You know, sometimes it stutters. Right. I, th I thought you said most notably, which uh, this is a nerdy kind of topic, but you said most notably. I did say most notably, <laughs> right. and um, yeah, maybe for me most notably too. Well, but anyway, it, it is not. I mean, <laughs> Netflix is the one that would benefit from this in well, some way, possibly. Netflix is a big uh, sp uh, you know, entity in the space, but there are others. You know, Amazon, which has its own streaming service. You know, the example I like to think about is fictional, but, you know, a lot of people get really, really worked up about the idea of open internet, that my internet is the same as yours, and the way small businesses can get involved on a level playing field is that you know they don't get degraded or undercut compared to someone who can pay money. The service I like to think about is Apple. You know, Apple's not going to release a TV service, an online streaming service, if it thinks that the product is going to stink, it's going to stutter. So when you talk about Apple getting into the space, and this is, again, fictional, but, you know, this is a place where they can play. If they can pay for the best possible pipeline access, you know, then you're starting to talk about an interesting story. And I also wonder if, you know, a lot of the people get worked up and angry. There's a, there are a lot of people who are worked up and angry about, you know, unfair or non-open uh, rules. Uh, how many of them would be, Kyle, well, maybe, you know, maybe if Apple can get, if I can get that Apple TV service, it's not going to be that bad. It, it's, it's incredibly interesting deals with, with capitalism. Yeah. And, you know, why shouldn't companies be able to pay for better access? That's kind of what America's built on. Um, just a lot going on there. And this is the FCC's third attempt, third, yeah. to try to figure out these rules. Yeah, and also they might get, there's some people who are getting worked up about that, might also get worked up if they can't watch their movie on Netflix or Apple or whatever it is. No, it highly is. Thank highly you interpretive. Thank you very much. Brian Fitzgerald, tech Thanks, editor Simon. here at the Wall Street Journal. I'm Simon Constable, and that was your top three in tech.